Are you too literal about color? What color would you use to color apple cider? Most Copic marker colors would swatch your markers to find a golden brown to match the cider. YR24 is pretty close. Then you'd take the YR24 and try and make a blending combination out of it. Find a slightly darker gold or maybe two. And then find a few YRs that are lighter. See how they all blend. The truth is, though, you're not really thinking much about color. Okay, for one brief second, you kind of thought a little bit about one color, YR24. But after that, it was all about your marker collection and the many possible blending combinations. Does this marker work with that marker? Does this pencil blend with that pencil? You're so busy with blends that you're not even looking at the color of the color you're supposed to be coloring. Stop. Blending combinations are meant to be an easy way to learn how to manage your markers or pencils. But if you're a year into this and you're still using the beginner's approach to coloring, that's a problem. Down at the bottom of all the swatch cards in my postcard kit, there's a section for colored pencils. And I know, the color suggestions I give you are always a little strange. Why am I telling you to use green or purple over a beautiful gold like YR24? Underpainting is one thing. Once you see the effect of a blue marker underneath YR24, then you kind of understand we're combining the blue ink and the gold ink to make a deeper golden color that Copic does not sell. But the weird pencils over YR24, they don't make sense. Why not just find a darker gold pencil? Hmm, you're thinking about blending combinations again. Meanwhile, I'm coloring the beautiful colors that I see in the world around me. In my previous video, the one with the red-capped fairy mushrooms, I explained that when I underpaint with Copic, my choice of underpaint color usually comes from the environment around my subject. I borrow background colors and use them to add shade and shape. I do the same thing when I'm overpainting with colored pencil. I see this black raspberry color in the shady areas of the pine cones and cinnamon sticks. Even if I'm not coloring pine cones in this project, I can still borrow the color 
and use it to round the shape of my cider mug. I also see green in the pine boughs, so I'm using a pale celadon to shape the whipped cream. I'm also using a murky Kelly green pencil to give life to the glass mug. What's important is that I'm not thinking about YR24 here. I've already colored the gold. Adding darker or lighter golden pencils over the top of YR24 is just more of the same. It wouldn't get me anywhere. It's not about the gold. It's about the cider. I'm looking at the temperature and tone of the apple cider. I do the same with my made up imaginary whipped cream too. You'll see me use the same pencils on the golden cider as on the white whipped cream. I don't have one pencil recipe for the cider and a different one for the glass and another one for the whipped cream or the cinnamon stick. I'm using the same pencils over and over everywhere. So as I said, it's not about the YR24. It's about the tone and temperature of the cider. Where the color is warm, I'll add pale vermilion borrowed from the apple skin. Where the color is cooler, I'll add black raspberry borrowed from the cinnamon sticks. Where the color is murky, I desaturate the golden color with Kelly Green, which I borrowed from the pine boughs. So how about some tips for overpainting Copic marker with colored pencils? First of all, there's no big giant trophy for the person who colors everything with alcohol marker. We're coloring, we're making art, we're having fun, and we're breaking all the Copic rules. It's okay to mix your media. Every art supply has things they do well, and then there's things they can't do. Markers are excellent at filling large areas with bold, intense color. But markers also have big fat nibs and they're wet, so they ooze and bleed a little bit. Colored pencils are much better at squeezing into tiny nooks and crevices. Colored pencils are also much better at creating subtle color variations. Don't fight with markers to get into small spaces and don't ask a colored pencil to cover the whole page with deep, dark color. Match your tools to the task. I love to spend hours coloring, but there's no point to coloring everything once with a marker and then going over the top of everything and coloring it all again with a colored pencil the same color. The pencils are not part of your marker blending combination. Use the pencils as an accent. Coloring with a pencil is slow, so I know in this video you see me spending a long time in each area and it seems like I'm adding a lot of pencil, but I'm really not. I'm hardly pressing at all. I'm barely adding any color and I'm never adding so much pencil that you can't see the Copic shining through. We're not trying to hide the marker. You don't need a ton of pencil to make a big statement. Besides, if you need more pencil, you can always come back and add more later.
YR24 is a beautiful color, but we can say the same thing about almost every color Copic makes. There's more to coloring than color. And ultimately, this is a question you'll face as you learn and grow into an artist. As you move beyond the average blending combinations that a million other people are using, and they're always combining YR24 with YR27, can you show us something new? In my intermediate and advanced classes, I frequently ask my students, when someone looks at your coloring, do you want them to think, oh, look at those beautiful markers? Or, oh, look at that beautiful coloring. There's a difference, and it's an important difference. Your unique use of color is what sets you apart from every other person in this world. Anyone can buy alcohol markers and learn to blend the same old blends, but nobody can color the way you were born to color. Show us more than YR24. The cider I colored today is available as part of my Autumn Copic Postcard series. The link is in the description. And hey, if you liked this color exploration, I do a deep dive on R08 Vermilion, a warm organic red marker here. <laughs>